What's up guys, Viminal back at it again with another video coming at you live right now through the power of cyberspace. And welcome my friends to a series that I call The Science of Getting Good. This is part one of this brand new series that I'm working on and it's basically gonna culminate in me trying to break 100k on AIM Lab and show you exactly how to go about doing that. Now just a quick disclaimer, I'm not a pro player, I'm by no means the best player out there, obviously not. I do believe I am decent at FPS games, but I am a nerd and I did a lot of homework, I did a lot of research, I am obsessed with FPS esports, I am obsessed with optimal performance in esports athletes. So throughout my research I learned about flow state psychology, I learned about proper ready position, proper gear, you know, the mental state. You know, how do you get better aim? Or I'm sure you've asked somebody else that question. Actually, there's a very simple answer to that, but at the same time, if you go down the rabbit hole, it opens up a can of worms, and uh, there's a lot to it. But there's also this one thing. This is what it is, okay? I said, empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Kidding aside, the first step to getting better aim is practice, practice, practice. Take it from Fatality himself, basically the godfather of FPS esports, at least in my opinion. It's basically the only way for you to build muscle memory, game sense, improve your reaction time, you know, build your reflexes, and much like lifting weights or or working out at the gym, uh, getting better aim is as much as mental as it is physical. As an introduction to this series, we're gonna go step by step. First off, today is gonna be the fundamentals that you need to learn. In the most basic, simplest terms, flow psychology is getting in the zone. But of course, very complex to explain, especially if you're a medical professional, which I am not. But Essentially, flow state is being in the zone, and it's a very popular term being thrown around in esports right now. Now, how do you do that? There's a myriad of techniques like box breathing, getting proper sleep, just the right amount of caffeine, etc., etc., etc. It could go on and on and on, and it's different for everybody. The main thing I think is what helped me a lot getting a proper ready position. Back straight, arms in, in a power position, like spread out like this. I'm not hunched over the desk, or I'm not you know, angled above the desk. Speaking of all that, I just want to reiterate the importance of having proper sleep. Now, in recent times, you know, it's been popularized that gamers are team no sleep, or we don't need to sleep because we play 24 seven, but definitely not for competitive esports. Much like an athlete, you have to get proper rest, proper nutrition before you actually perform. And for you to play at your best, you need and for you to play at your best, you need 8 hours of sleep, or at least you don't have to be tired. Because if you're tired, your reaction time slows down quite a bit, and that's how you derank, my friends, in Valorant. So don't make that mistake, get proper sleep, don't drink too much caffeine, and, you know, always eat, you know, your square meals a day. One interesting thing, speaking about nutrition, is sufficient serving of green leafy vegetables such as broccoli. It's supposed to improve your reaction time up to 11 years younger. We, we all know that Faker uh, eats broccoli on stage and for whatever reason this may be it, maybe it's just a ritual or something like that, but the fact of the matter is green leafy vegetables improve your cognition and reaction time. So essentially, this is me telling you eat healthy food, no alcohol, not too much caffeine, get proper sleep to get to your peak performance. And of course, exercise is very, very important. Now this brings us to AimLab. AimLab is such a great tool. It gives you raw input when uh, trying to practice your aim and reaction speed. It's great at doing that because it's irrelevant of whatever game you're playing. It's going to improve in basically whatever you do. Highly recommend AimLab. It's free on Steam and a lot of people use it. It's become very, very popular for a very good reason. Although before you try this at home, I must warn you that don't overdo it. The moment you start to feel pain in your wrist, stop and rest. Or at least know when to stop before that even happens. This is a workout. 
just like anything else, and treat it with respect. Not gonna improve your game sense, obviously, because you're not actually playing the game while playing Aim Lab. Obviously, when you want to get better at the game, you play the game more than anything else, right? But this one gives you a clear metric of your reaction speed, of your consistency with your sensitivity and your muscle memory. Last but not the least on how to get better aim, this is something very basic but a lot of people struggle with. Find your comfortable sensitivity. Find your comfortable DPI and effective DPI. Don't be afraid to experiment, but if your aim doesn't feel jittery and you can hit corner shots, you can flick the corner shots uh, rather easily. The end goal of this series is for me to show you how I will break 100k on aim labs at the uh, end of the series. This is episode 1, you know, applying these steps, which I will discuss further in the future episodes. I'm very curious to see how far we go. Thank you so much for watching this episode, Feminal. Catch you next time.